Hi everyone, I'm Courtney, the owner of Oh She Thrifts and Resell Like a Boss. I have been reselling uh, thrifted clothes for about, it's been about four or five years, I believe. I'll have to go back and look. But I also opened a boutique. Um, I opened one two years ago and one fairly recently, which is a vintage store. So I want to talk to you about all things reselling, all things boutique, because I I love shopping. First of all, that's my first passion. <laughs> and I think if you're a boutique owner, you get the joy of shopping, but you also get the joy of making money with the things that you shop for. So there is a win-win situation in there. But if you're just starting out, there may be some things that to people that are more seasoned may be a little obvious. Um, and some things that you may have questions about. So today, I want to talk to you about packaging because it is extremely important uh, as far as how your business looks to others and how you present your, your, your store to other people. So let's jump right in. The first thing that I would say as far as packaging is to decide what types of packages you're gonna use. So are you going to use boxes? which by the way, will be more expensive to ship and to purchase. Uh, are you gonna use poly mailers? Are you going to use um, paper mailers, which they do have, and which I may look into because it's a little bit better for their environment as well, as opposed to the plastic poly, mail poly mailers, but you can also get biodegradable poly mailers. I'm not gonna go into all of that, but you need to decide which type of packaging your company is going to be known for. My um, packaging of choice right now is poly mailers, but like I said, I'm looking into the paper ones and I try to get the disposable, um, these are not disposable. The ones I'm gonna show you right now are not disposable, but I'm moving towards being uh, more eco-friendly, more planet-friendly, because I think we all should do that, right? Um, what I would say though, is that size does matter when you decide what you're gonna order. In my experience, and any other um, any other boutique owners can let me know if this is their experience too. In my experience, it has been that you want to have varying sizes, for, just in case you have varying products. So because I have a boutique, those items I pretty much know what size they're going to be. But if I'm doing my vintage clothes, I never know. So sometimes I may find a coat that I want to I want to put on my website. Sometimes I may find a um, a little I don't know a little skirt that's like this big and it doesn't need that much room. So I have varying sizes of bags. So I would say at least if you're just starting, you want to start with at least two different size different size of bags. So and I purchased all these because going along the way i've learned that you want to have different size different bag sizes this one is extreme but i do have items that are so large that i will have to fit them in here like coats and things like that again but what i would say is that i am going to stick with something like this for now you want to have everything pretty uniform so i'm currently using these up getting rid of them so that i can move into something a little bit more uniform so it probably will be these i have them in pink as well and i like the i love the pink ones but i really like the black and gold so i, I wish i had the, brought the pink one out to show you but the black and gold is pretty cute but that's one thing i would definitely say is that you want to have if you're just starting at least get two or three different sizes it, especially if you are a reseller and you're thrifting for clothes or going to estate sales for clothes and things like that, then you wanna have that variety. In okay, the third thing I wanna to talk to you about is where do I get my mailers? Where do I purchase them? Me, I purchase from Amazon, pretty simple. I'm sure everyone knew that already, but there are other places that you can purchase them and you can simply, and a lot cheaper actually in some cases because you actually can just type in poly mailers on Google and find a ton of places that has them. One place I would say specifically that you can order poly mailers extremely cheap will be Alibaba. I haven't done it yet only because I think in some instances the shipping 
because those items are coming from China. So the shipping cost incurred may not, um, you know, it may not balance out the fact that you have to pay so much for products that are already in the US. But it may, depending on your shipment load. So you have to kind of calculate and decide if it's worth it for you to get bags all the, or products all the way from China as opposed to here. Now, if you're doing boxes, then most likely it's going to be worth it. I will say that um, to go with Alibaba or something like that. Um, that may be a little bit cheaper. The fourth thing that I'm going to say is that once your business gets to a point where you feel like it's large enough that you want to make sure that your brand is extremely consistent is that you want to have personalized packaging. Like I said before, packaging is the first thing people see when they get your, your items in the mail. So you really, if you can afford it, you wanna have everything on brand, on point, pretty, as, as nice as possible. And as you grow as a business, you can do those things. So you may start out with something simple like this um, and then elevate your business into personalized packaging, into personalized everything. So even with these, you can include inside the clear poly, poly bags too, which most people do. You can get the clear poly bags, which I guess I can get an example of, but it's just a clear bag. And you can put, you know, when you order something and they have your item inside the clear bag and the clear bag is inside this bag, that's also something good to do but you can also get everything personalized once you start doing that. So I would say it's not anything that I'm doing right now. It's not anything that I probably won't do until my business kind of takes off a little bit more and people know, know of my business because that's important. Um, and you wanna make sure you have the money coming in to where it justifies you kind of putting that type of money out because it is gonna be a lot more expensive in most cases to personalize it. Now, again, if you're gonna personalize, I definitely would get my products from Alibaba or somewhere a little bit cheaper because the personalization process, it, it's gonna be a lot more expensive. And then depending on how many colors you have, cause you're gonna have to pay color set up. So I would definitely say have one or two colors, no more than that, because it can be expensive, like 90 to $120 or something like that when I was looking it up. If you have a ton of colors, and when I looked it up, I'm trying to remember, I think that Alibaba, it was like $100 was the minimum because you have a MOQ or a minimum order quantity that you have to order usually, which is always um, adjustable. Like you can always ask about that. But it's usually like around 100, 100 items, so 100 bags or 300 bags. And they were usually like 12 cents or something like that. And then I looked it up in the US and this was just one company that I just looked but it was about um I think it was like a hundred dollars for 50 bags or something like that so it was like two dollars per bag and that was to personalize it and you still had to pay to set up the extra fee for um the various colors so if you have one color the setup fee for that would be like fifty dollars or something like that and then the other one's 90 to 120 so it's just how much do you want to pay and how quickly do you want your items because if they're coming from China, let me tell you, they're going to take a long time. Usually, unless you get Express, which is going to cost you more. Um, you can do a freight order or do Airplane Express, which if you're just ordering bags, you I would just do Express. So what are you going to include in your products? Are you going to wrap your... Are you going to wrap your things in pretty paper? Or are you, like I said, are you going to put them in the clear bags before you put them in the shipping bag? Or, and also, are you going to include an insert? So this is my insert that I have for Oshi Thrifts that I include. And if you do include it, maybe I'll do a video about the insert, which you should put on your insert. But this is my insert right here. And I include it in everything. I purchase my inserts from two different places usually. So I'll use Vista Print or um, M13 Graphics. My mom put me on to move.com. 
I've never used them, but I think I'm gonna try them out just to see if I like them too. Because in my experience, you wanna have several options for everything, basically. So at least I would say three. So like I said, I had two, but I'm gonna try out Moo. And if you guys want me to let you know, or to even show you the differences, in the items then i can do that because i've ordered several things from vista print and several from m13 graphics which is kind of more local than vista print um i just like them because they're local and i could just go pick up the item um i don't have to wait for it to be shipped so that's why i like them a lot uh so it just depends on how fast you want it that is all i have for you guys as far as packaging, like I said, I may do another video about the inserts and things like that. If you want that, let me know. Uh, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel as I want to be able to discuss these things with you and to see all of our businesses grow and thrive. And I, um, I wanna support you, just like I hope that you support me. And even if you decide not to subscribe, please take some time to like the video. So that's all I have for you guys today about packaging. If I missed anything, if there are any like seasoned people out there, if you have any seasoned owners out there, or if you have any questions about packaging, let me know. I don't think I missed anything, but just let me know. And I would love it if you subscribe to my channel because I want to be able to speak with you guys about the growth of your companies and to show you the growth of my own company. Um, I, like I said, I have been reselling for years, but I'm just recently getting into the boutique-ness of it all, which I love, I love it. Oh, I have a book. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I am not good at promoting myself and my own stuff. And my friend is always telling me like, you have to remember to promote your books. So I have this one, it's called The Art of Reselling. So if you are a reseller, it has great information about um, Poshmark, eBay, those type of things. So you can either get that on my website, Resell Like a Boss, or head, over, head on over to Amazon and just look it up. And I have this one for boutique owners. So like I said, I opened a boutique about two years ago and then I just started my second one uh, this, this year. I just started my second one this year. So this is everything that I went through, the initial process um, to get my, my boutique up and running. And guaranteed, if you follow this to a T, you will have your boutique up within 30 days. So that's why it's 30 days to boutique. Okay, so that's all I have for you guys today about packaging. If I missed anything, if there are any like seasoned people out there, if you have any seasoned owners out there, or if you have any questions about packaging, let me know. I don't think I missed anything, but just let me know. And I would love it if you subscribe to my channel because I want to be able to speak with you guys about the growth of your companies and to show you the growth of my own company.